Why they lying on my name, on my soul? I can't lose control when you do the most. What's my hope? I can't lose my soul. I can't lose no more. Hi, right, y'all. What is going on, guys? And today we're back with another very good video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we do have an unboxing from Pure Sneaker Cleaner. Now, if you don't know what Pure Sneaker Cleaner is, the boys, the boys, the OG sneaker trio. Um, there's more of them, but obviously them three are the ones that created this brand. Bullet RC, you know, the one that inspired me to make this channel back in 2015. Tony D2 Wild and Kais Omar, the three of them are making a sneaker cleaner now. And I joined the live when it happened, when they were releasing the sneaker cleaner. And I, it was a random thing, like they never announced it before. This was the first announcement. So I ordered it that first night. We got that black box, which I'll explain in a second what that is. But yeah, I'm very, very intrigued to see how this works, how good this is again. As much as I do love Bull, Tony, and Kais, I'm gonna keep it 100. I'm gonna tell you all if this sneaker cleaner is good because I'm not gonna sit here and cap and say if it's good when it's really not. There's no doubt in my mind that it's not at least decent. So uh, let's just open this up. If you're new to the channel, take a second out of your day. Hit that subscribe button because we post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday four times a week. It's probably better than your favorite YouTuber. Unless, of course, I'm your favorite YouTuber. But without further ado, let's just uh, rip this top open. Oh God. <laughs> Just, look, I just ripped the, I really ripped the top open. Again, yo, Bull, Tony, I don't know who's watching this. Kais, you know, if any of you are watching this, I, I'm down to be a brand ambassador, you feel me? I've been, I've been doing this stuff for a minute, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And plus, I'm out here in New York, you know, you can get that New York, you can get that New York guy on your, on your team or whatever, but um, this right here, we got the pure black box. Now they released, they have this one, and then they have another one, uh, which is just the green box that you can buy at all times. But for their first release, they released this black box, this special series black box. And it's like limited edition, like they're never going to release it again or something. And, you know, I had to buy this one. Like, like I had to buy this one just to like show it's the founder's box or whatever. And this right here, Bull said that he designed this box. And I really messed with this because like this looks like something you could put on your like on your shelf i like the pure logo i like the way this looks it's very aesthetically pleasing like i feel like i could put this up on the like put this up on the shelf right here just let it chill so I might actually do that but um this right here when we lift the top as you can see oh it says four sneaker heads by sneaker heads and then obviously this is the black box edition so this is limited but the normal ones are uh this color with i think white writing or maybe it's black writing i don't know let's open this up because you boy wants to see this so Boom. Oh, you can see it on the inside too. You can see it on the inside too. But we got the towel right here. The pure sneaker cleaner towel. So it's like a microfiber -y type towel. Again, we're going to test it out this video. I'm going to show y'all, be 100% be honest with y'all. We got the pure sneaker cleaner um, in the tube. Boom. As y'all can see, pure sneaker cleaner on the tube. And it says it has directions on the back on how to do it. So we'll get into that in a second. And we got the brush right here. And let's open this again. Y'all have seen on the channel, I've tried out numerous different sneaker cleaners over the past couple, as long as I've been doing this. Um, this, this feels like, these actually feel like, huh. I was expecting it to be stiffer, but it's kind of like a, it's like a medium type brush. I kind of like it though. Yeah, pure sneaker cleaner right here. Um, I've tried numerous, I've tried Crep, I've tried Rejuvenator, I've tried even, um, what was the other one? Pink Miracle sent me stuff one time. And I've tried everything. And I'm gonna see how this, puts up to it. We're going to be cleaning. I don't really have that many dirty shoes or I have dirty shoes, but like I kind of like the way that they look when they're beat up. So like, I don't want to like clean them, but let me grab a pair of shoes. I'm thinking we're going to clean these since I did buy these used and like, I didn't actually beat these up. Like I bought them like this. So they could, they look, they look good on camera, but I'm going to make sure to put them in like a better lighting. So y'all can see, like you could just tell by the laces that these are dirty. So we're going to try to clean these up, make them look better. Um, once I put it next to the old pair, I'm not going to clean one side. Once I put it next to the old pair, y'all will see. So we're going to clean these up, see how pure sneaker cleaner does. And yeah, let's do it. Yo, put up a picture right now. I'm going to show y'all. So you don't think I'm capping. Um, I've said it numerous times, but bowl and Tony and Kais, like all of them, all inspired me to create my channel in the first place. So I'm gonna put up a picture of me from 2016 sneaker con, I think. Uh, I didn't get a picture with Tony, but I got a picture with Bull. Yeah, and then we got a picture with Kais. And yeah, we take those off the screen, take those off the screen, we don't gotta show too much. That's a, that's a little embarrassing, but um, yeah, that's crazy. That was five years ago now. Damn, but let's get into the cleaning. All right, y'all, so we're gonna be cleaning the sneakers right now. We got everything set up. We got the little we got the little wipe to go on afterward, the microfiber thing. Then we got 
this right here, the pure sneaker cleaner itself. And it says on the back, fill a small bowl with warm water. So we got the small bowl. It says wet brush and apply liberal amount of pure sneaker cleaner. Yo, what does that mean? Anyway, um, <laughs> gently scrub affected areas, creating a foaming action. Sorry, y'all, I can't read. Wipe clean and air dry. Go wear your sneakers. Caution, avoid eye contact. Harmful if swallowed. You heard that, chat? Don't, don't be swallowing. Pause. Right here, I wonder if y'all could see better in this light since I don't have the ring light. Um, y'all could actually see how dirty these are. Like, it's just scuffed up, like, everywhere. Like, I don't know if y'all see that. Y'all can see it on the midsole the most, but even the uppers are just scuffed up. We're gonna even try to clean the laces, too. We're gonna put it in after, you know, at the end, when we're done cleaning, wash out the laces, and we'll, uh, we'll show the difference between the the two. We'll see, we'll see what pure, what pure sneaker cleaner can do. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm not gonna be, there's gonna be no bias going on. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna see if there's anything any feedback i should give all that stuff because i'm not gonna sit here and cap over the can it's not like they're paying me yet <laughs> no i'm playing all right they said they said fill up what did they say warm water it seems warm enough fill it up a little bit nothing crazy i'm not trying to waste the od sneaker cleaner but we got a decent amount in there now we're gonna take some i don't know how much i'm gonna put i'm gonna put like hold up we're gonna see i gotta take off the, the little silver thing hold up yo god dang Yo, I'm struggling. Hold up. All right, all right. There we go. There we go. We going. We going. We going. Put some pure sneak cleaner in. Let's get it. One, two, three, four. I think that's. I think that's. Eh, we'll put a little bit. Five, five. Keep it like that. All right. Boom. If I need more, I'll add more. Um, because I don't have that much water in there, so I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, this, hold up. This smells good. It smells like. What does it smell like? Yo, this smells like. Uh, Lavender? Maybe it's like lavender? I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it. So, do y'all not, do, do I need to teach y'all how to clean sneakers or can y'all, can y'all do that yourselves? You can, you can just watch me scrub, right? Y'all can just watch me scrub. I don't gotta go crazy teaching y'all how to actually stroke. Wait. Anyway, I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go everywhere. I'm just gonna see what happens. Let's see if it foams. Let's see how much this foams up. Let me move the dish out of the way so y'all can see. So we're getting that foamy. Boom, as y'all can see, dang, I already see it coming off of the midsole, so, I mean, that's a good sign, that's a good sign, and this sneaker, this sneaker's from what, 2015 type stuff, like, there's like, like the dirt color is just like stained all in the stitching and everything, so I don't know, we'll see how good it does with that, again, we'll see on the compare with the other one. Nah, no funny, this actually smells really good. Also, it's not gonna fix the yellowing of the actual like this because that's from just aging, that's not from dirt. I mean, it's a mixture. But like, that would be OD. Okay, okay, there was like black marking. I don't know if y'all ever noticed that on Jordan 4s, but this tends to get marked up a lot. And it literally just took the black off, so. All right, I think, I think the whiteness came back like a lot. All right, we're gonna see, we're gonna see, hold up. Last, last uh, clean through, then we'll wipe it off and then we'll see the comparison. And then I'll do the laces as well. Look how nasty that sole is. I don't know if I'm gonna do the sole. Can I do the sole? Is this brush gonna be good enough? Or should I get a hard brush? I think we're uh, pretty much done scrubbing for, for, the, for the most part. Um, now let's just uh, wipe it off with the brush. I'll do the laces and then we'll compare it to the other one once it dries. So, I'm gonna grab that pure sneaker cleaner microfiber type of brush. This thing feels really soft. So, let's get it. Y'all see it? Y'all, the smell, I don't know how to explain it, but like I've smelt it before. Ooh. Oh, hold up. Y'all see that? Hold up. Okay. Nah, yo, these look 10 times cleaner. 
Am I bugging? Hold on, I'll put it next to the other one, but these look good. Oh, yo, I'm actually, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, shout out to Pure, bro. Do y'all see the whiteness on this? I know y'all see that. I know y'all see how white the leather is. Even this got lighter too, but that's like stained from, again, from aging type, but okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do the laces now. We're gonna see we're gonna see if the the cleaner can clean it. It cleaned the shoes really good, so I don't know about the laces though. We're gonna we're gonna see about that. So we're just gonna throw it in here. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more water. I did add, I did add a lot of cleaner in there, so warm water, of course. Now we're gonna mix up the laces and we're gonna see. Y'all saw how look how nasty these laces are. Let's just uh, play around with it, try to rinse it out, and see what happens. Hey, okay, also final product right here. The laces are white yet again. I don't know how like, like the laces came out really good compared to, look at these. These are literally like cream laces from that. This is the other shoe, obviously. This one is the cleaned one. So boom, this is the comparison. As you can see, the uppers are way wider than this and the midsole's way wider on this one. Boom, these still got like stains on here. I'm trying to show you all, this is like disgusting. And then these just came out clean. I know y'all can see the difference. I know y'all can see that difference. So this is this is the after. This is the before. So this is before. Boom. See the yellow laces, stains just everywhere. And then this is the after. You got the white laces. Even this got like this got a tinge lighter than it was over here. This was like dark yellow. This is more just like cream now, which I kind of like. But uh, yeah. So, I think it came out really good. So let's go back to the discussion booth and let's see our final verdict. So we are back after the cleaning and um, this is that after product which I just showed you all. These are way whiter than before. You got the laces are white, back to normal. Um, they're looking really good, like honestly looking really good. As you can tell, these look a little bit more dirty. Um, and this white light right now is gonna make these look a little bit better. So yeah, but just know that these right here, they were disgusting. And they, I mean, these are still disgusting. I gotta clean them, but this pair right here is all white and nice now. Let's talk about it. Let's give this an honest rating. Do I think it's worth it? Do I think it's that, this, that, and the third? Presentation-wise, it's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. Like, this is just dope. You got this thing. Um, and this, and I'm not just saying this because it's the black box edition, because the other box, it's literally the same. It's just not black, but it's cool. Like, it's a cool little box. Like, you could definitely, I could definitely see a bunch of people displaying this on their shelves. I know I'm probably gonna put this up on the shelves. Um, and it's just, it's just really cool. The actual product and the stuff it comes with, you're paying 20 something dollars. I don't know the exact price because this one was a little bit more just because of the black box, but I think it's 20 or 23, like something like that um, for just like the regular and you get this stuff um, and it's just a green box. The cleaner, it smells good. It worked really good. Uh, the, I like this microfiber brush. Microfiber brushes I normally use anyway, like when I'm cleaning sneakers, so that's good. Uh, the brush, I actually really did like this brush. It wasn't too hard and it's not too soft. Um, and it worked perfectly on all the surfaces of the shoe. Like I used this on the midsole, I used it on the outsole, and I used it on the upper and it did its job. Now, do I think they should add more brushes available? I don't know, that's, that's probably in their mind. They're probably thinking about doing that. So they should make like a soft, soft bristle brush for like maybe like suede, meshes type things. Then this is like the medium brush and then like a hard brush for the outsole, like a really, really hard brush just to go crazy on the outsole. But this brush did do its job. So I'm not gonna say it didn't do its job, but I'm just saying, you know, hey, hey. So 10 out of 10 on presentation. Um, products, really good. Um, each individually, 10 out of 10. Um, pure sneaker cleaner as a whole, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 because there's always room for improvement. There's always room for improvement, but it's a, it's a good sneaker cleaner. I really do like it. And it's gonna be definitely my go-to for now on. No more no more crep for me, no more rejuvenator, no more pink miracle. I'm going straight for my pure box right now. So shout out Bull, shout out Tony, shout out Kais. This is, this is good. So pure sneaker cleaner, hey, y'all go tag me on their Instagram. Let them know I dropped a video. Yeah, shout out to Pure. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, Pure, you know, I'm down. I'm down to be a little brand ambassador. You know what I'm saying? I'm down to be a little brand ambassador. You know, take a chance on me. Anyway, that is pretty much it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll be back with a new video on 
Friday because this video is coming out on Wednesday. Make sure you check out the past video. Make sure you turn on post notifications for the future videos. And I'll catch you on the next one. Hope you all have a blessed day. Leave a like on this video and we out. I wanna run up the money and love with the music I do with passion. Yeah. You see me thumbing through hundreds for all the designer and love with the fashion. Yeah. I'm a move with the money, they calling me Michael. I'm feeling like